I'm Laura Berner, an assistant professor in the Department of Psychiatry, the Center of Excellence in Eating and Weight Disorders, and the Center for Computational Psychiatry here at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. I'm excited to tell you about our Friedman Brain Institute pilot project that I'll be conducting in collaboration with Dr. Laurel Morris and Dr. Preeti Balchandani. Our goal with this project is to try to understand the neurobiological factors that may underlie cycles of binge eating, purging, and restriction in women with bulimia nervosa. This is an eating disorder that's disabling and often follows a chronic course. Rates of bulimic symptoms have unfortunately only increased in recent years, but still surprisingly little is known about the brain-based factors that may promote and maintain these symptoms. Much of the ongoing work in my lab is examining the possibility that while eating may help brains of people without an eating disorder adaptively adjust and control their behavior, starting to eat may actually have the opposite effect on the brains of women with bulimia nervosa. This may ultimately promote out of control, excessive food intake and purging behaviors. Our project is designed to test one possible reason why this might be. Because of altered levels of a brain chemical called dopamine that is released when we eat and affects our decisions about whether exerting control is worth the costly cognitive effort. To test this idea, we'll assess women with bulimia nervosa and women without an eating disorder using a decision-making task and a new non-invasive proxy measure of dopamine in the midbrain called neuromelanin-sensitive MRI. This proxy measure allows us to draw inferences about dopamine function non-invasively and at much lower cost than other brain imaging methods. Currently, more than half of our patients with bulimia nervosa who receive our best first-line treatments still remain symptomatic after treatment. By clarifying the neuromolecular and neurocomputational mechanisms of binge purge cycles, our hope is that this study will help us start to identify targets for new interventions for the disorder. We'd like to thank the Fasciatelli family for their generous donation that will make this work possible.